The commands required for this experiment are ESP32 board, stepper motor driver, stepper motor, connecting cable and connecting wires. Now log into the Bling.Cloud website. Then go to Developer Zone. Here click on New Template. Here give the template name. Control Stepper Motor. Then select the hardware as ESP32 and connection type as Wi Fi. Then click on the Done button. Now go to Data Streams and select New Data Stream and select the Virtual Pin. Here we need to select two variables. The first one is to rotate the motor in the clockwise direction and the second one is to rotate the motor in the anti-clockwise direction. So give the variable name and select the pin as V1 and click on the create button. Now again go to new data stream and select virtual pin. Here give the name as anti-clockwise and select the pin as V2 and then click the create button. Now go to web dashboard and drag two switch widgets. Then go to settings and here select the data stream and click the save button. Now go to the second switch and here the select the data stream as anti-clockwise and click the save button. Now save the template. Now go to devices and click on new device and here select from template. Here we can see the template which we created. Control stepper motor. Then click on the create button. Now we will get the template ID, template name and authentication token. Copy this and paste in our program. And then enter the Wi-Fi username and Wi-Fi password. Here define the pin numbers in the ESP32 board. Now upload the program to the ESP32 board. For that go to tools. Select board. Here select ESP32 Arduino and here we need to select ESP32 DAV module. Then select the port. Now click this arrow button and upload the program to the ESP32 board. Now the program is successfully uploaded to the ESP32 board. Now we can set up the Blink mobile dashboard. For that download the Blink IoT application from the Play Store. Now once you open the application, you can see the template which we created from the Blink web dashboard. Now click on the template, click the settings button and then click on this plus button. So here add two button widgets. Now, now click on the first button and here select the data stream. Select clockwise and select the button mode as switch. Go to design. Here we can give the name, title, clockwise. Now go back. Now click on the second button. Here also select the data stream as anti-clockwise and select the button mode as switch. Go to design and give the title. Now go back. So if you want, we can change this uh, uh, button location. Now go back. Now the setup is completed and now we can check the output. 